it is impossible to sink in this boat. And the secret is that it can self-right itself in less than 15 seconds. This is a 47-foot motor lifeboat, or 47 MLB. This is a special kind of rescue boat that is operated only by the United States Coast Guard. But how can a boat be unsinkable? Well, what if we told you that all rescue boards around the world utilize the same technology that makes them unsinkable? However, there are no innovations involved. Instead, it's just plain physics. An interesting kind of physics, we promise. All boats can self-right themselves if they have three key features that allow them to do so. First, they must have a very low center of gravity. Secondly, their center of buoyancy must be located really high. If those two things are implemented, the ship will always flip around and upright itself. But these features can't work at all without one more component, a watertight integrity. If there is no integrity, the rolled over boat will fill up with salty water and sink to the bottom. In the case of 47 MLB, it is impossible since it has 11 separate watertight compartments and a sealed buoyancy tank located above the flying bridge. With all these features in mind, the boat becomes unsinkable. If it capsizes, it will force itself up every time. This is the rule of thumb in the modern naval engineering of rescue boats. But just because this boat cannot be sunk, it doesn't allow surfmen to roll it over during training or better yet, in emergency situations. Surfmen are the only people who are selectively picked and trained to operate only this kind of boat. They're men and women who go through years of rigorous training to operate the boat and save lives at sea. Just as much as they'd want to roll the boat over sometimes, it actually damages the boat, so they learn the technique of avoidance, simply told, avoiding the waves. Sounds like an impossible task, but every person can learn in just six years. Yes, six years. This is how much it takes for an average recruit to go through the program and become a surfman. This training is considered to be one of the most intense water rescue programs in the world. During six years, they learn how to outrun, dodge, and even run on waves, all methods to avoid contacting waves. But if contact is imminent, they will position their boat toward the incoming wave and absorb its energy to continue their movement. It's called to square up. But if the boat is capsized, it's called knockdown from which they return in seconds back up. But don't worry about the crew. Among their usual gear, they're attached to the boat with life-saving belts that keep them on the boat in any situation. And they also make around $200,000 a year. Now, it's totally worth the six years of intense training. In short, it is a great boat they operate. But here's the problem. It's running out of time. Although a number of boats have been implemented since 1997, they were supposed to work for at least 25 years. However, this is exactly why these boats are undergoing maintenance to extend their operation time for at least 20 more years. For more than 20 years, they will continue saving lives until they extend their lives again.